but yeah Busa Philandra Blue Steel. Hi everyone George here I am at Tropica Aquarium Plants here in Denmark and this video is going to show you the development of all of our display aquascapes and display planted aquariums that we're going to be showcasing at Interzoo. Four weeks ago myself Fabian Beck otherwise known as Scapling on Instagram and Carlos from Pez Verde which is an aquascaping specialist store in Madrid in Spain uh, came over here and we scaped uh, all of these aquariums so I'll take you through each one the purpose behind the aquariums and uh, discuss some of the challenges some new plants that will be released to this year which is very exciting and yeah just have a, a good old chat about some beautiful planted aquariums very exciting in case you're wondering why this mug is here uh, we use this uh, when we're refilling the aquariums it's basically like a colander but we use a mug instead um, so just before we start talking about the tanks themselves the purpose of Interzoo is a trade show that's held every two years and Tropica take pride in having some of the, the nicest display tanks there and uh, we actually grow the tanks in three months prior to the show so what will happen is it's February now, March now, where we set these up in February. In May, uh, these will actually get transported to Nuremberg in Germany via the road, by a special uh, lorry transportation. And um, yeah, they get reset up uh, in Nuremberg. So they get drained down all the way, so about a centimetre or so from the bottom, cling film wrapped so they don't dry out, the plants don't dry out, and then refilled back, um, yeah, like I say, in Germany. And uh, yeah, well the hardscape is glued in place, so hopefully that won't uh, move around in transportation. And the idea is that these will be beautifully mature and super healthy um, by May. So my job is to come over here now every two weeks and help maintain uh, these tanks and create content around them and yeah, just make sure they're all running as planned. So we'll start off, I'll tell you what, we'll start off with these tanks over here these are a couple of uh, dual Rio 180s and the aim of these scapes well they're not scapes I just planted displays is to showcase the one two grow species so these were planted literally for four weeks ago 28 days ago and you can see how well they're growing already and it's just really interesting to see the species side by side to experience the different grow rates and just to see how we, you know, well the one, two grow species adapt, you know, there's no melting, super healthy, even the advanced category plants here, the Rotala macrandra and the Rotala wallachii doing really well under the, the standard lighting from Joule. We are injecting CO2 in all of the aquariums, of course, to get the best health possible. So yes, 18 species of plants here. Uh, I divided, uh, actually used kind of like a plastic divider to do six uh, sections running along the length of the tank and then three dividers um, towards the back, giving us 18 individual species altogether. And then the same with this tank here. So I'll just run through each species one by one starting from the front left here this is Marsalea minuta previously known as Marsalea crenata behind that we have the Helanthium quadrico status and then behind that we have the Helanthi um, sorry the Heteranthera zostafolia now this has uh, actually been replaced yesterday I planted this no two days ago I planted this to replace the Muriophyllium Matagrosensa because that was just growing far too quickly and is pretty much unmanageable. It was actually at the surface of the tank, believe it or not, in just four weeks. The foreground here we have the Hygrophila lancea or Hygrophila araguaya, same species, then the Gratiola viscidula, and then behind that the beautiful Myriophyllum guyana. To the right of the guyana we have the Hotonia palustris. Echinodorus um, tropica and then Aereocaulon kinnerum then we have Pogostamon helferi Echinodorus reni and then Hygrophila pinnatifida 
and then we have some Prosopernica palustris cuba. This was recently planted as well, that's why it's not looking so great. That replaced some new file japonica, which was becoming a shrimp snack. So the shrimp were actually eating it to the point where, um, yeah, we just replaced it with uh, the, the Prosopernica. Uh, there we have the Blixa japonica, and then in front of that we have the Littorella uniflora. Then we have the Liliopsis brasiliensis. Behind that we have Bacostomum decadensis, previously known as Bacostomum erectus. And then behind that, Bacopa caloriana. Moving on to the right hand tank, uh, Marsalea hirsuta. And then Ranunculus inundatus, some more Myriophyllum guyana. Uh, Rotala hatra, uh, Lobelia cardinalis mini, uh, Halanthium. Uh, Tenalum green, Glossostigma alatinoides, Sagittaria subulata. Uh, that replaced Altanantha aronychii mini again because it was being eaten by the shrimp. And then we have a brand new species that's going to be released. This is uh, Rotala rotundifolia blood red, and it's very similar to the HRA, but it turns red much more easily than the HRA. So this is an exciting species. Uh, Rotala uh, macrandra. Um, Rotalica indica bonsai and um, this used to be known as Hemianthus cuba but it's been reclassified to Micranthomoides calitricoides cuba um, Eleocaris persilla mini previously known as Eleocaris acicularis mini Echinodorus tropica again and Rotala wallachii Rotala green um, Hydrocotyl tripartita and Staragyni repens. So 36 species all together and all doing really well. If you're wondering what that big pipe thing is, we're just in the middle of doing water changes. Uh, my colleague Mess is in the middle of doing that right now. Um, so yes, I planted these, they're not scaped obviously, just used to showcase the one two grows, but these two tanks were scaped. These were done by Fabian Beck scapling. These are the superfish tanks which are very affordable, come supplied with a hang on a back filter but we've replaced those with a couple of Awaze Filto Smarts. And yeah, simple layouts. It's important to note that these scapes aren't to showcase the aquascaper's particular skill, they're more designed to showcase the plants. So if you're wondering why they look a bit simple, it's because yes, the trade show is there to show show off the plants as healthy as we can. It's not really a, a to show off the, the scaper's skill. A couple of really interesting species here. Some of you may be already aware of the Aerocal on Vietnam, which is probably the easiest Aerocal on. It's actually a very easy plant. Doesn't even need CO2 injection in my experience. We've got some more Prosopernica palustris cuba there, which has recently been planted. And we've got the Rotala, uh, blood red again and then there's Rotala wallachii so the wallachii and the Prosopernica again been replanted recently because we had some melt so just to sh you know just a kind of for authentic kind of uh, broadcasting we do still suffer with plant melt even in such a kind of um, you know professional environment like Tropica you know we still still suffer with the issues that regular hobbyists suffer from and then we have a slightly larger superfish tank here. Again, this was scaped by Fabian. And this is a really interesting plant. This is the Hygrophila seraphilum. So this is actually a carpeting Hygrophila. And uh, it reminds me of like a giant Monte Carlo. And again, the, the shrimp have been taking a fancy to it. So we've actually started to feed the shrimp separately with their dry food. So hopefully they <laughs> stop eating our soft tissue plants so much. Other plants of note in the background there we've got this mix of the Ludwigia palustris red and green. So the green is a new species for Tropica, uh, the red is a well known like the super red uh, which many of you will probably have heard of. Got some Marsalea there and some Echinodorus Tropica and the Rini. And moving over to the kind of shallow cube tank, this was scaped by Carlos from Pez Verde in Spain and his colleague David came along over as well. 
and uh, they created some of their own content so make sure you're subscribed to Pez Verde if you've not done so yet I'll leave a link to that in the description and please also subscribe to Fabian he's um, making a new effort on his YouTube channel so I'm sure we'd appreciate you guys subscribing to him if you do enjoy his content so this is beautiful I really like this it's probably my favorite escape out of them all here at the moment still some growing in to do of course it's only four weeks old but I love the way you can see it from all four sides and the whole concept is kind of like a volcano and actually we have the blood red rotala there and then believe it or not this rotala here this green stuff is rotala hra it just hasn't gone red yet so we have boosted the lighting using the chihiros vivid 2 rgbs and um yeah thanks to chihiros for supporting uh, this project uh, they did kindly supply all of our lighting for us uh, for all of the tropica tanks uh, for all of the larger tanks I should say you've seen the superficial lighting already so yeah beautiful uh, beautiful scape using black lava black lava is actually really good because it's lighter than regular stones and obviously for transportation that's going to be easier to manhandle we've got the Cuba as a foreground carpeting there with some aerial cowl on Vietnam in the shaded areas and then a similar concept all the way around the tank but the really interesting thing for me is how the rotala will hopefully develop so the aim is to mimic a kind of like a lava flow so it's like a volcano scape if you like and the rotala is going to hopefully cascade down turn red and mimic this kind of flowing lava stream which i think will look really great here we have some of the buca phalandra needle leaf here one of the smallest buca phalandras that you can get so yeah, all in all a beautiful scape and really excited to see this one grow in i'll be coming like i say over every two weeks to maintain these uh, this is a work in progress we're probably going to rescape this a little bit this is mainly aqua decor products so these are plants that have been grown on the um the driftwood or the lava stone and these are great for beginners to get an instant impact in their in their aquariums but there's no, the, the scape itself here yeah, probably needs a little bit of rearranging i think to make it a little bit more impactful um another one of my favorite layouts classic triangular i do love triangles in aquascaping and this was done by fabian again scapling uh, classic composition and yeah just a uh, beautiful there's about three pieces of the redmore root but all kind of joined together to make one coherent piece and then we have uh mix of buca philandras mosses uh, amazon swords in the back uh, this is an interesting species here this is quite new for us this is the hygrophila or dora so this is a little bit like the deformis but a bit more of an elongated stem and the nodes are far more spread out than, than the deformis uh, we have some uh, mix of blixa japonica and the helanthian tunnelum green monte carlo rickia we don't often see this in scapes these days but yeah beautiful triangular layout and last but not least we've got the three meter flow tank uh, which was scaped again by carlos do excuse all the kind of equipment lying around it is a kind of um, just a off the cuff vlog um, just towards the end of my visit here this week been so busy um, i haven't really had time to create you know super high-end quality video content but hopefully i'm still getting some nice footage and some education and inspiration to you guys so i do appreciate you watching thank you very much so there are some really interesting new species in here let's start uh, from the left cryptocorini spiralis red this is going to be one of my favorites i think you can see how beautiful those leaves are looking with the red coloration there and some crypts cuspatula at the back and now this is my absolute favorite plant new plant that's going to be coming out fairly soon this is or i like to call it crypt uh, not crypt what am i talking about this is buca philandra blue steel so let's get a close up check out the iridescent leaves there 
I forget the full scientific name but this is going to be a great seller I think it has this beautiful iridescent sheen on the leaves and uh, very a fairly large leaf I think it's the largest leaf Buca Falunga that we'll probably stock here at Tropica but yeah it's a beautiful beautiful Buca Falunga with the red stems there and it has a, a red underside of the, on the, underneath the leaves as well let's see if I can get some footage of that there we go beautiful then we have the uh, very novel Anubius Pinto needs a bit more light than regular Anubius because it doesn't have so much chlorophyll Anubius mini coin one of my favorites Sar Saragoni main carpet is Monte Carlo here's some freshly planted uh, crypt spiralis red there in the back so that will eventually turn more of a red color some more of the Ludwigia green and red and then the whole kind of concept here is you might be able to note that if you follow the wood it kind of has this wave formation here which is what Carlos was aiming for there's actually three co2 diffusers and we have a big pump on the left this is about 5,000 litres per hour so about 10 times turnover the tank's volume is about 500 litres 120 gallons or so and we have an external filter on the right as well for added circulation surface skimmer just stock with shrimp at the moment we're actually not going to be stocking any fish in here it's not fair to to stock them just temporarily and we're not actually going to stock any fish at interzoo either um it was one of my requests actually that we don't do that i just don't think it's very ethical to stock fish in such a short kind of short case scenario and uh, they often end up dying um, when the tanks get stripped down and all the chaos of uh, getting the tanks wrapped up ready to be transported back to Tropica so in my mind it's just easier not to stock fish at all um, for such a short-term event. Uh, some Junkus repens there in the back and this is Anubius Kirin which is a unique kind of really dark green with a wavy leaf and uh, more mini coin. So there we have it guys a quick kind of summary of our Tropica display aquascapes in preparation for Interzoo 2024. Hope you enjoyed the video guys if you did hit the thumbs up leave us a comment what's your favorite scape and uh, do subscribe if you haven't done so yet really appreciate it. Take care and I'll see you in the next one in a couple of weeks probably. Cheerio!